Hope you're having an amazing day. Here I have the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 5 uh, air cooler. Also, we're gonna be looking at the Dark Rock Elite in a different video, so keep an eye out for that. So let's go ahead and open up the box here and uh, see what we have inside. So we got the manual here and uh, all your usual Intel, AMD, all of the fittings. So you should be pretty much set uh, with the newer and even older systems. I'm gonna also list uh, all the specs for you so you can go ahead and see if it's uh, gonna work for your system as well, which uh, most likely it should. Uh, we do get uh, some paste and uh, here we have the AMD setup and the Intel. And here we have the actual air cooler which uh, the top it's actually supposed to come off because uh, you're supposed to remove all the foam and everything here. And it looks like it is a uh, magnetic, the top here, which is nice for, especially for cleaning this thing because these air coolers usually do get dusty. So the first fan is held here. So you're pretty much able to release it whenever you wanna go ahead and take this out and clean it. So pretty much uh, these tabs here, the metal tabs, uh, just go ahead and lift them and uh, the whole uh, fan kind of comes out. So it's pretty easy to go ahead and put it on and take it off, which is nice. And the actual cooler here, the fins and everything look pretty good. And uh, here you can take a look at the bottom. And uh, this is the middle fans. This is a 1700 RPM here. And usually with the uh, Be Quiet fans, they're pretty quiet. I haven't had any issues ever really with uh, any of these kind of fans. And uh, here, like the main fan, uh, once you go ahead and remove the magnetic cover here, uh, we do have a Q and P, so that's uh, for quiet and performance here. And to go ahead and put the middle fan on, just go ahead and slide it down. So it goes to the slots here, so it does click, and it, it stays there pretty good. And the cover, you're able like, to put it this way. Here, it's magnetic, and uh, if you wanna go ahead and switch sides, you can just go ahead and do so here. Overall, it looks pretty good. Nothing else to really see here. Um, uh, there's no like RGB or anything like that. Uh, there is RGB with a Dark Rock Elite one, which I'm gonna be showing uh, that off on another video. Uh, you're getting the control here for the quiet and performance, which is good if you wanna go ahead and set that up here. But everything else is uh, pretty straightforward. Okay, so pretty much we got everything put in here. Uh, we're just gonna apply the paste, put the main, uh, cooler on and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and run some uh, stress test uh, just to see how this performs. And just note, I do have the 11900K uh, here, not the latest 1400 and all that. So your test uh, score may vary there. So let's go ahead and put a little X here for now. For now, you don't wanna go ahead and put the middle fan on because we're gonna have to screw the screws here and, uh, and then once that's uh, done, we can just go ahead and hook the front fan to the middle one. And then we're also able like, to do the control like from the quiet to performance with that uh, switch there. And uh, let's just go ahead and tighten everything up here. And uh, now our last thing is we're gonna go ahead and hook up the first fan here to this one here. So that way we're able like to go ahead and control both fans uh, straight from this uh, switch here uh, if you want to, obviously. If, you're, if you wanna control your fan, yeah, like your motherboard and stuff, uh, you're definitely able to do that as well. So to go ahead and put the main fan on, we're just gonna go ahead and stick it in here. And I put it in the wrong way. So just make sure air is going one way. So that way there's no like turbulence or anything like that. So let's go ahead and put this on. And uh, that's pretty much it. The only thing that's left is going ahead and putting on the cover here which is gonna go for our system. Is gonna, we're gonna put it this way. And uh, looks pretty good. Like, it's quite big, uh, to be honest. And uh, here you can kinda get the idea how big this thing is. So if I turn it to the side. And uh, this case, it's not a big case. So if you, one thing to keep in mind is, uh, if you have like a very small case, just make sure you're not touching like the side panel or anything like that. Alrighty, so we have everything installed here. We're gonna go ahead and do some uh, stress test here. Also, you're gonna be able to see the thermals uh, as uh, the stress test goes on, just so you can kind of get the idea how hot it is. 
Um, so right now, the CPU, the way I have it set up, the 11900K on the BIOS, turbo mode is on, so XMP is on and everything like that. I'll go ahead and put all the specs in the description below as well, just so you can kind of get the idea of what's uh, going on on this uh, PC here. Currently, the room temperature is around uh, 24 Celsius. It's not like cold room like to do this test on it's pretty much like a real world testing so you can kind of get the idea what's uh, what's gonna happen here so let's go ahead and uh, start the benchmark here so multi-core first here so it's currently going at 216 70 watts uh, we're currently at 71 uh, celsius 69 71 so it's not going above 71 here and idle, we were looking around like 29 uh, Celsius uh, when it was just uh, doing nothing. And that uh, looks like we have six minutes remaining. So after six minutes, we're going to see like what the final max temperature is here. So looking at the score here that we got 1400, doesn't really matter. We're looking at the temperatures here. Um, so it did go 100% all the way, the test uh, for the whole uh, 10 minutes. We can see 5.1 gigahertz here, and then uh, looking at the wattage, uh, it went up to 226 watts, and uh, we reached 81 Celsius max. And uh, right now, it's hovering at 34 Celsius. After the benchmark stopped, the temperature's kind of dropped. Even there, we can kind of see the temperature dropping. Right now, like, it's uh, kind of cool to the touch. It's not as, uh, like, when it was running. It kind of got a little warm there. I do have it set at performance mode. The fans are definitely silent. When you have the cover on, everything on, definitely you're not gonna be able to hear them, even if you have them like pretty much at performance. Uh, or you can just go ahead and set your own RPM there as well. You have that option. Uh, obviously when you're gaming, it's not gonna go at that 100%, so you're never gonna probably see that 80 Celsius mark. If you have any questions or any tests that you want me to run on this uh, certain cooler here, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to do that. I uh, really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.